Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of board games. Whether you're a seasoned strategist or just enjoy a casual night of bluffing your friends, there's a board game out there for everyone. We're counting down the top 10 board games of all time. Games that have earned their place in the halls of Tabletop Valhalla. We're talking about the classics, the innovators, the games that have brought countless hours of joy and maybe a little frustration to tables around the world. So grab your meeples, shuffle those decks and get ready to roll some dice as we embark on this epic journey through the top 10 board games of all time. Kicking off our list is the game that needs no introduction, Chess. This ancient game, with roots stretching back centuries, is a testament to simple mechanics and strategic depth. Chess is a game of pure skill, where every move matters and even the smallest mistake can have game-changing consequences. At number 9 we have the game synonymous with family gatherings and maybe a few heated arguments. Monopoly. The goal is simple. Bankrupt your opponents by buying properties, building houses and hotels, and charging high rent. Monopoly is a game of luck, strategy, and cutthroat negotiation. At number 8, we have the game for wordsmiths, Scrabble. Players take turns placing tiles on a gridded board, creating intersecting words. Use your letters to maximize your score, block opponents, and maybe bluff to victory. At number 7, we have a modern classic that has taken the board gaming world by storm, Settlers of Catan. Players gather resources like wood, brick, sheep, wheat and ore to build roads, settlements and cities. Roll the dice, collect resources and trade to victory as you expand settlements and claim the most points. Number 6 is the game of global domination, Risk. Players act as generals, deploying armies and battling across a world map. Victory requires planning, alliances and a bit of luck with the dice. At number 5, we have the game that lets you channel your inner detective, Clue. A murder has been committed in a grand mansion, and it's up to you to solve the case. Move from room to room, collecting clues and making suggestions to narrow down suspects, weapons and locations. Pulling into the station at number 4 is the game that lets you live out your railroad tycoon dreams, Ticket to Ride. Players collect sets of coloured train cars to claim railway routes connecting cities across a map. The longer the route, the more points it's worth. Manage your resources and keep an eye on your opponents, as they might be trying to claim the same routes you need. At number three, we have a game about cooperation, teamwork and saving the world from deadly diseases. Pandemic. Players take on roles with unique abilities, working together to treat diseases, share knowledge and develop cures. But time is of the essence, as outbreaks can spiral out of control, leading to a pandemic that could doom humanity. Coming in at number two is the game that proves simple mechanics can lead to engaging gameplay, Carcassonne. Players take turns drawing and placing tiles, expanding the board with fields, roads, cities and monasteries. Carcassonne is a game of spatial awareness, tactical maneuvering and a touch of luck as you draw tiles that determine your fate. Claiming the top spot is the game that revolutionized deck building, Dominion. Start with a basic deck, acquire new cards from a shared pool, each with unique abilities and victory points. Balance actions, money-making cards, and victory points to create a winning strategy. Thanks for playing, and there you have it, our countdown of the top 10 board games of all time. Whether you're a seasoned gamer or just starting out, we hope this list has inspired you to gather friends, roll dice, and enjoy the camaraderie of a good board game. Let us know in the comments your favorite board games. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the bell icon to never miss an upload. Until next time, happy gaming.